Hello friends, welcome to Insights Again Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about a topic related to science and technology. So the topic name is Intuitive Missions Mission. So from here onwards, we are going to call this as a IM Mission. It is related to Moon. So IM Lunar Mission. So first, before we going to discuss about further, we will see the video components. First, we will try to understand the context. So why this is particularly important? Why we are discussing in today's video? So, we will understand the context. Then, IM-1 mission, the speciality and the details regarding the IM-1 mission. Details means which company is launching this mission and what is a lander and what is a rocket and from where this mission was launched. And the speciality of this mission is it is the first privately launched lander, okay, which is landed in the moon surface. Privately launched lander which landed on the moon surface. Then we will discuss about privately launched previous attempts. Previously USA tried once. This is the second one. And the first moon landing from the USA side that was Apollo 11 mission. We will discuss about further regarding Apollo 11 mission. After then we will discuss about Artemis 1, Artemis 2, Artemis 3 missions. You know that Artemis mission is all about the human space mission of the USA towards moon. Then we will discuss about Chandrayaan 1, 2, 3 comparison at the end of the video. So basically, first the main idea of this video is regarding intuitive mission lunar lunar lander. So what is this mission is all about? First, let me give you concept clarity. You know that moon is the natural satellite of the earth. Okay, Moon is natural satellite of the earth. So from earth to moon, that means under the moon surface or around the moon we launched various various things such as orbiter around the moon lander and rover lander and rover onto the moon and even human also onto the moon surface okay so now out of this we are discussing about now lander even not a rover also we are discussing about lander previously so many countries launched orbiters, landers and uh, even some countries uh, launched their human space flight as well. Okay, It was not new. But all these things were launched by public space agency, not the private one. And this mission for the first time, this mission for the first time, it privately launched. It privately launched their lander onto the surface of the moon. So this is the world's first private world's first private lunar land lunar lander mission first private okay private lunar lander mission very very important now even india is also trying to send human onto the surface of the moon what is the name of that mission tell me students what is the name of the mission and of course this is an easy question and which country is helping to india in this mission which country is helping to India in this mission? Very, very important. Okay. So, this is regarding the Earth, Earth's related mission towards the moon. Now, we are going to discuss about this private lunar lander further information. That is, the details of this regarding this launch. What are the payloads? From where this is launched already? Then, which uh, space agency is behind that? Which private company is behind this launch? And all the further details we will discuss. First, the name of this lunar lander, the name of the lunar lander is Odysseus. Odysseus is the name of the lander and it is the US first spacecraft to be landed on moon in last 50 years. Actually, after Apollo 11 success, USA, they never do any experiments related to lunar missions. Of course, okay, they sent satellites and landers onto the moon, but not from the US soil. They took the help of USSR at that time because uh, they don't want to spend all that money, uh, you know, like so that is the reason they used the uh, infrastructure of the U Russia. Now they are giving the same work to the private companies like SpaceX. This was launched by SpaceX, like I am saying, NASA's Kennedy Space Center, it is present in Florida, landed in, I mean, launched in February 15 using Falcon 9 rocket, Falcon 9 rocket. So all these things are important, which rocket used from where 
and which space agency is behind this launch all this information is very crucial in examination point of view and this is the privately built us moon lander privately built one and last time the moon landing was through apollo 11 mission and this intuition mission one this entire flight it carrying six payloads from nasa and uh, odysseus is the main lander odysseus technical name is nova sea lander nova sea lander as well as odysseus both are same okay that you have to that you have to know especially while you are solving the mcqs next what is the main of, aim of this mission we will discuss about the main aim anyhow so previous apollo mission previous apollo mission it was in 1972 the last time american spacecraft landed in 1972 that was apollo 7 apollo 11 is about the human human you know like uh, moon landing the objective of this particular one is about gathering information from the moon surface as well as to study about various gaseous clouds present on the moon surface not only that this mission also helps in okay so understand about understand about radio astronomy experiments and uh, precision landing technologies precision landing technology means how precisely we able to land moon mission at our desired place normally this kind of moon mission whatever the desired place we would like to launch at the end of the day when the launching is taking place generally it will be deviated from the originally planned site okay so now with these missions they would like to get accuracy as accurate as possible regarding their landing now let's see the payloads in these payloads along with the odysseus there are another six payloads from nasa out of that five are the payloads and one is the communication cargo the lander in this lander they used even the solar panels as well which can generate around 200 watts of power main engine used in this mission liquid methane as fuel and liquid oxygen as well as oxidizer so these are the two important fuels used in this mission mission life is around 14 earth days 14 earth days is about the mission life and the future implication this mission can throw some insights to the nasa's upcoming lunar missions such as artemis projects then earlier private led attempts previously these private uh, based lunar missions it was been you know like uh, tried previously they were israel's bear shoot in 2019 japan's hakuto 2023 american peregrine in 2024 so, so we can say that this is the America's second private firm's attempt and it is successful. And the, one of the important thing we have to know here, this landing was happened on the south pole of the moon. Actually on the south pole of the moon, recently India launched Chandrayaan 3. Chandrayaan 3 lander. Tell me guys, what is the lander of the Chandrayaan 3 as well as the rover of the Chandrayaan 3? Very easy. Next, so far countries such as USA, russia china india and japan they successfully done the you know like this lunar missions landing and apollo 11 previously i mentioned apollo 11 was a human based space flight launched in 1969 moon landing happened on july 20 and earth landing on july 24 if you remember 1969 is very crucial in terms of india as well in that year isro launch isro established in 1969 and there are certain other events, you know, like nationalization of banks by Indira Gandhi government. Around 14 banks got nationalized. And even uh, Nobel Prize in Economics and Dada Sahib Falke Award, such kind of important things also happened in 1969. And in this entire mission, they spent around, uh, you know, like 23 hours, they spent on the surface of the moon. In this mission, they used the Saturn V rocket, Apollo program, crew members. Who landed on the moon surface? Neil Armstrong. Buzz Aldrin and the third one that is Michael Collins he did not set foot on the moon he was in the this you know like lunar cabin itself so what happened in the landing so they collected some samples from the moon and they spent around 21 hours 36 minutes sorry not 23 it is around 21 hours 36 minutes even they planted American flag as well which was which was a very historical pick you know like it might be in the memory of so many millions of the people. Next, NASA's Artemis program. I mentioned early, earlier already, NASA's Artemis program is all about sending human onto the moon surface. This entire program includes three phases, Artemis 1, Artemis 2, Artemis 3. Okay, 1, 2, 3. In 1, 
first they will test the orbiter as well as the lander in the second one they will test some mannequin that is the dummy humans and they will they will try to understand about the effect of radio waves and x rays and finally in the third phase for this humans will be launched onto the surface of the moon space agencies involved canadian space agency european space agency and japanese aeros aerospace exploration agency these are the space agencies involved in this particular mission next so india also india also contributed in its own way towards moon research that is in the form of chandrayaan 1 chandrayaan 2 chandrayaan 3 we all know that chandrayaan 1 played very important role in discovering of water actually in this chandrayaan 1 regarding discovery of water nasa also helped you know like significantly chandrayaan 1 launched in 2008 and it stayed on the lunar surface the main objective orbiter as well as the moon impact probe that means this mission did not include the lander as well as the rover it only orbited around the moon launched through pslv chandrayaan to 2019 it is to study the moon surface and to launch the lander as well as rover but this mission was failed orbiter was only succeeded but lander and rover rather than the soft launch you know like hard launch was happened and the launch through gslv mark 3 this was launched on lunar south pole next the chandrayaan 3 chandrayaan 3 also succeeded it included you know like only lander and rover it did not include orbiter because chandrayaan 3 is using the orbiter of chandrayaan 2 this chandrayaan 3 launched by launch vehicle mark 3 okay so it was landed on south pole this is the comparison regarding the chandrayaan 1 2 3 now let's see yesterday's video question with reference to india middle east europe economic corridor consider the following statements it is proposed multimodal transportation network that will connect india to europe via middle east yes right okay it has gained support from world bank and uh, it is you know like partially right and third one it will be the longest transportation corridor not exactly so only two statements are right today's question consider the following statement regarding the chandrayaan 3 read these two statements and pick the right statement regarding the chandrayaan 3 main question discuss india's achievements in the field of science and technology how our success in science and technology can help to our socio economic development this is our main question now as we reach to the end of this video in in this particular video we discussed about this usa's private agency's lunar mission okay im1 mission and we also discussed about details of this im1 mission what is a rocket what is a lander and what is the you know like objectives of this mission and everything we discussed apart from that previously attempted private space agencies also we discussed and artemis 1 program also we discussed apart from that we also compared this chandrayaan 1 chandrayaan 2 and chandrayaan 3 missions as well so this is the detailed analysis regarding the usas and worlds first private lunar mission that is im1 mission thanks for watching this video have a great day jai hind Thank <laughs> you.